This is going to be a quick video about Red Dead Redemption 2 and AMD's new upscaling algorithm FSR. You can see the timestamps on the bottom left for the benchmark, comparison photos, performance metrics and a quick mention about two applications which make using FSR possible on any game. In the benchmark, on the right side it's running at 4K native resolution and the left side of the picture is upscaled to 4K but rendered at 1440p. Right side, which is the 4K one, has AMD's Radeon sharpening applied on it at 50%. On the left side, which is rendered at 1440p, a high quality FXAA and AMD sharpening at 50% are applied with reshade. And the upscaling is done with Lossless Scaling App, a small and talented software you can buy from Steam at a very reasonable price. You can find the link in the description. I wanted to do this comparison at lower resolutions, but my tests show that at too low resolutions there is no benefit to performance, because once the GPU's load is reduced, the CPU load reaches to a point a saturation point, thus preventing further gains of performance. So technologies like FSR and DLSS should be considered for GPU bottleneck scenarios. Let's talk a little about two applications. The first one is MagPy. I already used it on my previous videos. It's a free and open source app and actually has support for more upscaling algorithms than the second app, Lossless Scaling. Some of them are more suitable for older games and anime. However, at higher resolutions like 4K, 
5k, Magpie is more prone to crashes, unfortunately. This is what made me go on and try a paid solution, and I believe it's worth every penny. They're both great applications, and both are getting new features every day. Some people complain about performance hit of FS FSR upscaling, but this is not because of the third-party apps. AMD states on their FSR documentation that FSR can take up to one whole millisecond processing time for each frame. That means, if your low-resolution scene is running at, let's say, um, 70 FPS, it can be as low as 65 FPS after being upscaled to 4K with FSR. To minimize the performance loss, I recommend using RevaTuner server statistics and cap your scaling apps FPS to slightly lower than your screen refresh rate. After making proper tests for your game, come back and cap it to your desired FPS. For many of us, this should be 60 FPS for non-competitive games. I also use another software called Process Lasso, which manages the priority of background apps so games can have better resources. In Process Lasso, I adjusted upscaling apps to higher priority and excluded them from any power saving interventions. This ensures that both the upscaling app and the game will find sufficient resources for themselves when running. And this is how to play any game with FSR upscaling. Please do not forget to come back and comment about your experience in the comment section. Thank you for watching.